for Willy Wonka transition. What did you see from him that made, made, made him seem that slow? Well, you know, they were double James on everything. And James, you know, I've, always, I've said a thousand times, he, uh, he'll take what, what's there. Uh, and with him doubling, he just, uh, he found either Clint, PJ, Gerald, somebody. And, um, you know, just Clint's energy and running the floor and got some touchdown passes and all that stuff. But you know, obviously he played a very high level in that. A few weeks ago you were talking about communication being better on the court. You didn't see that a lot tonight with James when he was being doubled when, when you were trapping him. How much have you seen that grow with him, his ability to communicate with his teammates? And uh, you know, I, again, I hate to – you can always nitpick and say, oh, it's got a little bit better, but – He's been so good the last three years. I only have three years with him. That's all I know. And first year he should have been MVP. He was MVP last year. He should be this year. So I don't know. Uh, I understand what you're saying, but he, he's been he's been the best I've ever seen. You know, for a long time. Obviously, it's probably fun for you to watch James score a ton of points every night. But is it is it equally nice when you can get a balanced scoring attack? No, oh, it is. Just... Now you know he had 32, right? Well, yes. I mean, we're used to back <laughs> then. I mean, we're like. You know, he still had a boatload of points, and they double teamed him on every play, so which is unbelievable. And plus, I think at halftime, he had like 18 points on six shots. You know, so it's uh, his efficiency is off the charts. Uh, but again, whatever they throw at him, he will find the best play. And uh, you'll feel him, he'll, he'll also find a way to score, also. He'll find his way, but he'll get everybody involved. And I thought Gerald and Clint and PJ were awesome tonight. They just said like really well. What does it mean for this team going forward, knowing there will be other times, maybe not as long, but that team is totally trapped game by death, to know there are those answers that it's been done for 48 minutes in this case? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, you know, if they want to, but you do know we have all things point guard coming back and we have a, a, uh, an all star type score. So, I mean, they might get away with it some. But we got, you know, James is just so good at just orchestrating, getting the ball out and hitting in the short pocket. And then we got shooters all over the place. And, you know, there might be a night we don't make shots, so, so be it. Uh, but uh, uh, again, I just uh, rely on his ability to be able to read the situation and do it. I don't care what they do. How valuable is it when you get PJ going on offense like that early when you get to know? It's good. I mean, he missed his first two shots. Uh, the second one was really bad. I'm thinking, oh my gosh. But then, he had like four or five in a row, whatever it was. You know, an interesting stat, I know you guys will look at it, but you know, PJ took 11 shots, 11 threes. Gerald takes 10 shots and 10 threes. <laughs> so we didn't take too many twos tonight. He said Clint right in the rim. So other than that, it was, uh, it was uh, we bombed him out. So you're saying you like that? You're happy to see it. I like that it's 125, 113. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what the game is. So that's what we took. If, you know, they want to stay home, then James will get to the rim and do his thing. So, you know, we just got to, it'll be nice. It doesn't always work either way. And, and I, I told the guys, I go, you know, good teams, you know, still lose 20 and bad teams win 20. And you just got to do what we do more times than not. You would lose like in uh, Portland, we just lost. And we didn't play well. So be it. You can go to the next one. If you have that type of mentality, just keep going forward, do what we do, try to do it better, harder, we'll be fine. What do you think explains uh, Tucker's struggle shooting uh, his past six games? Uh, you know, I, who knows? It's big shooters, uh, people, you know, players go through that. Um, I've been playing a lot of minutes, so maybe he had dead legs. Uh, you know, I mean, it could be as easy as, to, you know, too many relatives at Christmas. Who knows? I mean, you don't know from a player. You just stick with him. He'll eventually come out of it, get his confidence back. And, and tonight was a nice night to pick it out because they were leaving him open and, uh, and he made him pay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.